I even want to play this guy again? I don't think so. I'm gonna go full strength. Alright, maybe not. Full agility. Maybe not. Some willpower. Some toughness. Some more willpower. Some physical mutations here. We're gonna go carapace again. This time I'm gonna do freezing hands because I really like freezing hands. It slows people down. The cold slows them down. It's uh, very useful. Um, I'm gonna do the blinking tech again. I don't wanna. After, you know, two like insta deaths in this game. I think we need to get like a little bit of a like, streak. I don't want to run into my evil twin and die right away for you guys. Mm. I want to try a stinger. It'd be really neat. Bear tail with a stinger that delivers pointless venom to your enemies. 20% chance on a melee attack to strike your opponent with your stinger. Stinger venom poisons opponent. May it sting to guarantee a strike with your stinger at 4 plus to hit with 2 penetration. <clears throat> I want to do like a paralyzing venom. Might have that in another video. Like I said, I want to just kind of do something I'm a little used to. Uh, will be a. Get all. Alright, let's run. 
Mike's plan. Yeah, we tick across the map. Hopefully it wasn't far. Did it again. Fun times are to be had. Things are going off to a great start. Hello, Argive. My name is Pat. Just ignores us. Where can I find this cave? He's like, just go get a knickknack for me, man. I'm like, okay. Give him the knickknack. Weird artifact. Okay, if I must. Just, um. Give him the other knickknack. Gotty whack. And we level up. Now we're off to rope. Now we're gonna go do the his quest, his next quest. Um, I should have read what he was saying, because now I have no idea what the hell was going on. There's a way that I could do quests. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Key mapping will tell us. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Well, let's hurry up and throw our rifle. Um, there's a rifle. Let's reload it. Reload six slugs into the rifle. We don't have to keep reloading it every time. We want to do anything. Go here. Find 200 feet of copper wire. Search the rust wells east of Jopa for 200 total feet of copper wire. We have to deliver it. Right. Did I even get this guy's, uh, thing? I didn't see it in the quest. I'm in search of work. I'll do it. We're not gonna do this first, though. He sighs as he heard us. Like, look, there we go. Rust wells. We need to go here and look for the. <clears throat> the uh, copper wire. Stop. Alright, let's skirt around a little bit. We got something I've never seen before on the walls here. Kudzu, this plant is a densely twisted map, metallic fibers, and long, billowing red fronds. Chip gently, wave gently towards you on an unfelt breeze. Easy and hostile. And we had uh, some guys coming up behind us, and I forgot to map the keys. Like this. Maps. Go like that. Oh. Ah, charge. Um, sprint is E. Yes. Charge will be control apps. Not yet. Okay, now I can freeze these noobs. Blast them. Now they're slowed. You can back up. You get shot by something else in the distance. We're gonna just go ahead and take out the slap, uh, snap jaw, and duck down behind the. to see what you are. It's a baboon. Baboons are the ones throwing stuff at us too. Let's kill the weird thingy. We get hurt pretty bad. Keep missing the kudzu on the wall. Now we can kill it. God dang it. Kudzu stem, small stone, staff. We're gonna need to do some advanced tactics here. We're gonna come down, skirt this way. We need to look at what's on the wall here. It's a prickler. This spiny bulbous plant is covered in sharp quills. If it feels threatened, which it usually does, it can expel them with a sharp puff of its muscled vines. Stay away from it. We got a beetle. Be we got a beetle bum to the north. We will stay away from. No need to aggravate the beetle bum. You have a goat, and a baboon, and a W, or 
whatever that stands for, coming up from the north. Um, I could only choose the shoot one of them. And we can run away. I load up my... Do not have a missile weapon equipped. God dang it. What happened to it? I'll run like this, and we'll blast them both with more frost. We run away again. Actually, go in here really quick and level up our freezing hands because I forgot to do that earlier. Silly mistake. We get pelted by baboons as we run past. Oh, nope. Sp see the spinning vine shooting at us, too. Blast them again. We froze the hoping baboon, should explain its. What is this? A leech, this massive dirt cow leech undulates toward the smell of blood. So we're getting chased by leeches and stuff. Fun. What is this up here? I can't see because it's in my sight. Alright. The leech is going to be draining our blood. We're getting this. Our ass literally handed to us here. Alright, we need to sprint. We're gonna shoot across here. Healing as we go. Luckily, we can regenerate pretty quickly. Stop and wait for our pursuers. And he is here. I'm just gonna blast wildly. I'm gonna whack him. The leech dies and falls before us. I'm gonna just try and attack the baboon. We succeed. We pick up a 58 drams of fresh water off the baboon. baboon coming in from the north and gets disintegrated on contact. Another baboon come, decides to test its metal but decides to back away and I decide to launch an attack at Oh, I can't even move. Well, at the baboon. The baboon just bursts into a puff of frost. Or snow. Snow is better. Take cover behind here. Could check the what is this is the young ivory, a bloodthirsty plant of cut. The young ivory lurks beneath the surface until it senses a creature pass overhead and unleashes a sharp tusk that kill its prey. If we have any charges left, we do. We'll blast it and freeze it. There's nothing we could do about it right now. I'm gonna 
come around the corner and blast that with uh, an attack freezing it. We charge it, chopping down the stupid seed spinning plant. Go baboon. Throw more shit at us. We just obliter obliterate it, puffs up into snow. Another baboon is taken out too, carrying a small stone. Got blood all over these trees. I don't see any entrance to any cave, but I found a chest. Take the vine wafers. Fractured microchip and empty water skin. This bugaloo. Doesn't even matter. Looked like the billabug or whatever the fuck it was called. He's gonna come and uh, try to take a stab at us, but we blinked away. Something got attacked. Another baboon pops up around the corner. We hurry up and slay it down with our of some sort. Our bronze battle axe. Snapjaw tries to take a swing at us too, but we knock him down. Mm -hmm. Through the harsh fight, we finally get to the stairs to take us down into the rust wells. We could shoot him with our um, rifle, but we can't. But we find a Borderlands revolver, which we might switch to, so we could actually do some damage. I'm gonna leave the wooden arrows. Uh, what? Crocosins. I don't want to fuck that means. Moccasins out of crocodiles, I'm sure. Take the armor and the revolver. We're gonna go over to this. Nine here. We're going to equip the revolver. And we're going to load it up. Six slugs. We step out. Do we tempt our fate with these? I think we can. A uh, snap jaw comes into our... A uh, snap jaw comes into view. Pull out our revolver and take a shot. And we do 16 damage on the creature. And it drops on the rock. Pull our revolver again. Blast. We're now level 3. We'll re we'll reload the revolver while we're waiting. See what we got here. I can get cleave, or we can hack pieces off of people. I don't think I want to do that right now. I don't want that either. I don't need that. We haven't used charge at all. Um, we might do pistols. Shit. Weak spotter. Score critical hits with pistols twice as often. Oh, neat. Menacing stare, you stare down an area by at moment and set up fleeing in terror. You receive no accuracy penalties for firing pistols while running. Agility based chance on a successful hit with a pistol to disarm your opponent. Dead shot. Critical hits hits you score with pistols are more deadly. As long as you take no actions other than moving and firing your pistol, and you fire at least once every other action. Reduce the energy cost of firing pistols to 500. Energy cost of fire pistols reduced by 25%. I'm pretty sure energy doesn't talk about you firing the pistol. I think it's talking about um, the charges it uses from batteries or whatever. Or energy pistols. Um, I would like to use rifles though instead. It's just a shame. I've rusted up. buy pistols because we could always use come back and do the other one. So this is what we'll do. 
pistols. Maybe we can go akimbo later, but we don't even have another pistol to akimbo with. Let's go up here. We could put one attribute point into something. We'll go with... Hmm. Let's do toughness. I feel like that's a good one to do. Toughness is now 21. Gives us health points, I believe. Um, I'm gonna try this, but we can't do it yet. It's kind of bullcrap. Let's upgrade our car carapace, carapace, and start running again. We haven't found any copper wire here. Let's pull out our rifle, uh, revolver again and blast them. Just reload while we have a chance. I don't want to be caught reloading. We're on this guy's little something else, so I'm gonna blast him with my freezing hands and then crack his head. Press the wrong button and he gets unfrozen. We take turns just whacking each other over and over again. Sandals of the river wives. We'll take his sandals. He's got an iron maze. Nobody's giving me a good let's check with this he's got a staff staff yeah they're just giving me stabs put those sandals on though my feet are getting a little cold oh we could get crocusons damn yeah we'll put crocusons on even though I love the name of the sandals we just picked up Find a small. Whoops. What the fuck? There we go. Find a small pilot tube and a burn capacitor. Believe the wooden house. Pull out a revolver again. Shoot down this uh, snap drop before he even gets close to us. He's got a bronze battle axe. Not much better than what we've been using. We're not even gonna wait. We're just gonna blast that guy and shoot him. The revolver over and over again. Bleach dies. Still didn't even give it a chance. Find some wire strands. It's only a foot. Reload our revolver too. Let's check our food stores here really quick. We got one raw bear meat. One star apple and 300 vine wafers. I don't know how much vine wafers we actually eat. Blast slap jaw. Snap jaw. Pick up. Oops. Get sprinting. On accident. And one of our wire strands rusted on us. We get teleported across the map. Just gotta run back to the other. Ooh, and the fucking leash comes burrowing its way around. Yeah. Charge him. Oh, we gotta go a little further away. Run. Come in. Get the attack. We do three damage. Not very good, I must say. We'll take our chances. We resist life drain. It's trying to suck us dry. One foot of wire, we need 200. This is gonna take a while. Pull out a revolver and blast them. Dropped them right there. We get sent flying across the map again as we reload our revolver. Find some more strand. 50 feet this time. That's better progress. Find another chest here. Take the fractured micro trip and the capacitor. Let's take the water skins too, because I believe we can sell them for a decent price. Another chest. Take the wooden arrow, strange tubes, and leave the bow. I'm liking the revolver. That was a good choice. Get teleported closer to the destination we wanted to go in the first place. 
Seems like this place. Oh, no, oh, that goes down. I thought our travels here were done. But nope, we got another layer. That's not something I want to see. We just blasted right away without even thinking. We came too close to a dread root. Reload. As we reload, we get thrown across the map again. We run into something I don't mean to run into. It's a hermit. It's a scrap-clad hermit. Gnarled, hunched form, shrouded in layers of twisted sheet metal, bound by leather thongs. Not something I want to be right next to. Let's sprint in the other direction. And blast it. The frost. Oh, I should have charged it. We will regret that, I'm sure. We decide just to hack at it and take our chances. And we succeed. We ought to got a copper nugget and a lead slug. Poke around the corner. Found some more wire. 20 feet this time. 3 feet. We run away from the dread roots. Three feet of wire. Fifty feet of wire. We now have 182 feet of copper wire. We're getting close to our goal. We have some fly in. It's a spark tick. A squat jittery insect tick ripples with tiny arcs of static electricity. It's tough. It has a shocking bite. We're going to have to blast them. And we immediately incinerate him into a poof of snow. Frost coats where he stands. Where he stood. And we level up to level 4. 6 additional hit points, 50 skill points, and 1 mutation point. To level up our freezing hands. The freezing hands now do 3d4. See what else we got here. We got 50. Might as well just wait. If we get 100, we could get a cleave and we could hack off limbs of our enemies. Doesn't look like there's enough copper wire to the, be found here. We're going to teleport wildly in the wrong direction. We got another scrap clad hermit. We're going to blast them with frost and we're going to charge them. Must charge at least two squares with two for close. I'll back up one and we'll charge again. He's injured, but not dead. Try it again. But we don't even penetrate the frozen scrap clad hermit's armor. Try it again. Not good. We run. get the blast of salamander that was hurting us and hopefully that could maybe do anything else and we whack it down we pull out a revolver and blast the hermit blast the hermit again and we run away again we could freeze him kill him right there wait was that a hermit it says Robert oh he was carrying bear meat. okay it's all different our microchips got rusted. Copper nuggets got rusted. Is that what those do? We can no longer go just walk by those things. Hopefully our revolver is okay. <clears throat> revolver. Hmm? Revolver. Our revolver is okay. Need to reload before I forget. We run right past the stupid fucking guys again. I didn't even mean to do that. Ah, my bad. And we find a chest I would have missed. Grab the bent metal sheets. And a corroded circuit board, and we find two copper nuggets. We're doing pretty well for ourselves this time. 
Next time I see one of those guys in the hallway, I'm just gonna blast them. Before we head down, I need to... I think I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff that fucking rusted. Let's see what rusted. Got three feet of wire, let's just drop it. Desert rifle. I'm gonna hold on to that, because that might be worth holding on to. But our fractured micro trip rusted. Two of our copper nuggets rusted, but I'm gonna hold on to those just in case. We might be able to get a good price for those still. We head down to the next level. Immediately a spark tick, tick pops up in our vicinity, but we just blast it with a cold burst from our hands and it just melts away. Pull out our revolver and blast seed spitting plant. We get teleported across the map. Oh man, I might need to get go to a doctor or something. And we get sent right next to wire strands. We completed the quest, but we need to get out of here. So we're gonna blast the tick. We'll leave the hermit for now. And we'll run across. Oh shit. We run. We can't use our things yet, but we could use our gun. We shoot. We shoot again. Shoot one more time. We gain the level. Let's use our level points. We'll put our money into cleave. And we don't get any of those, but hopefully we can use it in freezing hands. Can't use it in freezing hands. Blows. We'll put it into carapace. One more turn, so we'll blast the hermit. We'll hit them both with some cold. We'll just keep cleaving at the hermit. And we triumph over him. We get to check out this chest that we Mark and I originally check out earlier. Take that, take that. Take the steel vinery where we can get a good amount of money for, I'm sure this way. Yeah, we're getting attacked by a seat spitter. I'm just gonna pull out my rifle and blast them. We need to reload. Not if you have freezing hands. Reload the rifle. It takes us but a second. But we accidentally walk right over a um, young ivory. Just gotta pull out one of our bandages and use them. You aren't bleeding. We already recovered from the bleeding because of our regeneration. <clears throat> Not gonna take even a second with that guy. We could charge this snap drop. Can't charge the snap drop because we're too damn close. We'll just hack him down. We'll hack this one down too. corridor and we'll hack this one down too. We don't do enough damage. Get him that time. He's got an iron longsword. I forgot to be looking for an iron war axe. Bronze dagger. Bronze battle axe. Come on. We need, a bron we need an iron axe of some sort. Got an electric beetle over here. Let's go like this a couple times then. Regain our Attack. Blast him. Blast him again. Blast him. Can't. We just shot him dead. He's got a hand axe and crocus. But we already got some crocus. I'm gonna pick up his crocus. So I grab that and the hand axe. We're heading back to town. Find a witch, put a wreath, and a club. We get teleported even closer. Ah, oh, shit! Scrap clad hermit decides to chuck something at us. I don't even know what the fuck. It's got acid or something. We run out of it. We fucking run into a bear, I think. We're in a bad way right here. 
Um, Blast the Hermit. Hermit's there. I'm not even going to come close. I'm just going to shoot at him with the thing. We need to reload. I don't have time to reload. I'm gonna sprint. Can't sprint. Um, I reload. We were able to fit four slugs in. I think that's all we got left. But we f stand face to face with a bear. With the grizzly bear of all bears. We have six turns so we can deal with this. We hack once, we hack twice, we hack three times. We're doing 13 damage. Do two damage. And the hermit joined in with them. This is bad. Four turns. Hack at the bear, hack at the bear, hack at the bear, hack at the bear. Bear still is only injured. Look at the wounded hermit. We might take a few stabs at him. We kill him. This is good news. We freeze the bear. We take a couple whacks at him. We kill him. And then we step right onto. Oh no, we butcher the raw bear and grab his meat. Fantastic. Beetle bum. It's just like, fuck that shit. Doesn't even want to deal with it. Blast the. Rusting, whatchamacallit. Kudzu. Head up to surface. Nope, wrong button. Okay, we gotta go over this way. We gotta blast this because they ruin our stuff. I don't believe anything's gonna be in here. We already took care of this whole area. No battle axe is good for us. <sighs> Close. We get back to the surface. Take a breath of fresh air and it feels good. <clears throat> we just make a beeline for home, but we become lost. Looks like we might have came upon like a snap jaw stronghold of some sort. Might as well just blast those two. And we should take off running. Snap jaws come out of the woodwork, woodwork from every direction. Step up throw out our hands and we blast them. They all fall. Heck, these two. At least that one. We got some strong ones here. It's only injured from our attacks. Until he dies. Heck at the turtle. Critical hit was against me. Blast the turtle. Take our time hitting the snap jaw. Snap jaw is down. Head south. Can't do that yet. Can't use our abilities. Can easily outrun the turtles though because they're frozen, freezing. We shoot at the turtle. Still not happening. Freeze him. We take our last couple hits and he's down. Gain 125 XP for it. We got irritable turtle's corpse. Pick up the vine wafers and sap wood max. Iron mace. Battle axe. We got a beaded bracelet. We auto got it. I want to wear it. Alright. We'll do that later. No, we'll do it right now. Let's see. What do we do? Put it on our arm. Heated bracelet. On 
our right arm. Is that the one that we use to slash everything? It is. Quickly reheal. We load our revolver with more slug. We only picked up one slug, so I think that's all we have. Let's check how many slugs we have. None. We're gonna have to use it when we really need it. Come upon the wall here. Brine stock stakes. Several sharpened trunks of wool, sallow brine stock were driven into the ground here. This must be some kind of stronghold. Um, I just got just for a second. Ah, excuse me. Go along the south end of it. Find a door. The way is blocked by arrow slits. It's not a door. To shoot through those, you just walk, waltz in, like we were invited. Just blast them. And we come and charge this. That snap jaw here. And just knock them down. We already got a weird artifact. Is there anybody that will stand in our way from being able to just take all their loot? We got a critical hit on us from that snap jaw. Gotta be careful. Got a steel cookery, I don't know what the hell that is. Where is it? Steel cookery. Cookery. Did we pick it up? Steel cookery. Nope, I didn't pick it up. It's a melee weapon. Take it. I don't even want I don't even care what it is. We're just gonna take it. Take the cloak too. Steel Kukri. It's under melee weapon. Let's see what it is. A curve, extremely sharp combat knife. We're not good with knives. So it's just something for us to sell. Waltz into this part of the fortress. We see some snap jaws. Taking invasive maneuvers from nothing. We'll just blast these two. Our thing didn't shoot far enough. That was a mistake on my part. Cut around the corner. Charge this slack jaw here. Snap jaw. Steel short sword will pick it up. Whoops. We don't even worry ourselves with that one. will now. Take out that one. Come around the corner here. As they pour around the corner, we're gonna send a blast. We can't because they didn't even come around the damn corner. There we go. Take those two out. It's got an iron mace, wooden arrow, bronze mace. A critical hit the Air, uh, bow and arrow, snap jaw. Nothing worth taking. Hit this way. Take it. Another steel kukri. Their copper nugget. And their water skins. Some say we're a bad guy, but they didn't need to shoot at us. We didn't even get a chance to tell them what was happening. And the Snapjaw Warlord is badly wounded. And drop nothing, but we pick up the corpse on accident. Drop the corpse. Got a two-handed sword here. Kill that one. No problem. We got boar skin gloves. Let's take those boar skin gloves and put them on. Oops. Put things on from uh, there. I nine gloves. 
Oh, maybe you can't. I think it's got to go on hands. Right, let's go here. Take some witchwood bark. Yeah. Grab it. Grab bandages. And leave. Let's see what we got here. Steel kukri. Take the steel kukri because we can sell that too. We have nothing worthwhile. We are still lost. We need to run around a little bit before we get to get our bearings. We're just gonna head the head with this tortoise. It's doing critical hits on us. We're doing critical hits on him. We cleaved off something. Check our vine way for storage here. Finally, for 272, we're still doing really good. We have a snap jaw lurking here. Trying to get a good shot on us. Blast. Didn't even stand a chance. Iron Beast. Short bow. Wooden arrow. We automatically picked up the wooden arrow that we didn't need. It's okay, though. We got a whole bunch of slap jaws over here. Let's see if we can find out where we are. Nope. We're just going to go ahead and cut through the base. Hopefully we could lose them through here. Cut to the zone to the left. We regain our bearings. We can finally head home. Let's go to the archive first. Yeah, we can teleport just a couple feet away. Let him take the wire. Yes, yes, wire, beautiful wire. Oh, before I forgot or cease to care, I repaired an old recoiler for you. Use it whenever you wish to return to Jopa quickly. Now give me a few minutes alone to attach the wire. We'll return. You have finished step return to archive request. Wire, weird wire conduit, Eureka, you see 500, you're level six. You have completed the quest Weird Wire Conduit, Eureka. You receive a Jopa recoiler, no cell. So we're gonna have to buy batteries for this thing. They did not come with batteries. It's working, genius. They said it couldn't be done. They said I was mad. They are, uh, they were all. What's this? What is that? Wait, it's repeating itself. Our guy mumbles to himself for several minutes. Prentice, come here. Something very strange has happened. The conduit is picking up a signal. Some sort of repeating transmission. I cannot decipher it, however. I lack crypto gold eggs and, well, never you mind. I have a great task for you. My apprentice, do you accept it? Can I know what it is first? Very well. You must seek out Barathrum, the old. He's the eldest and wisest tinkerer alive. He lives with his followers, followers the Bur Barathrumites, in the cavern called Gritgate, to the northeast, amongst the ruins of Cud. He will know what to make of the signal. Who are these Barathrumites? They are disciples of Barathum. Mostly they are Urshib, like their mentor. Mutant Bino Cave Bears, with gills to boot. A thousand years ago, Barathrum and his kin crossed the Homs Delta into the heart of Kud. He has spent centuries filling with the tokens of Anquity in his underground workshop. If he cannot decipher the signal, no one can. Hmm. Even cave bears. No thanks. No, just kidding. We're gonna accept a quest. Splendid, apprentice. Splendid. I've recorded the signal onto this disc. You'll need to guard it with your life, I'm afraid. Also, I'll need you to rig up a droid scramble for you. The bear thermites have programmed several way droids to guard the approach to Grit Gate. The scramble, you'll have no need to worry about them. Wait there. Mumbles to himself while he walks away for a little bit. There you go. Now off with you. May you live long enough to do my bidding. Way away. Very well, archive. Let's talk to him one more time. And then maybe we could trade something. We got a bunch of stuff, like this small violet tube. Needs it. Um. Strange tubes. Let's look at it. Puzzling artifact. 
weird artifact. We'll wait. We might sell those. Send the, sell those to him for a... Oh, man. We need the... Stasis grenade. Desert rifle. I like that. Solar cell. It's not costly, though. Slender crystallite disc containing blueprints of eaters, nectar, injector. A slender metal tube used to deliver various tonics directly into the bloodstream. Slender crystallite blueprints. Sphinx salt injector. We don't need any of it. We'll take all your vine wafers. You could buy the tube off me. Hopefully. You'll have to pony up one dram of fresh water. Yes, yes, I don't care. See ya, archive. We run into the walls as we stammer away. Ready to trade and sell all our goods to the trader. He has not picked up any slugs, so we're going to be doing without a gun until we find some more. Get the bearskin gloves to him. Some of the extra crocusins, leather cloak, the reinforced bark armor. Get, give them the sandals of the rib. Why is the that this that Jesus? Got a whole bunch of bandages. Look at that. Give them the club, the hand axe, the steel cookery is five dollars each. Ten dollars for the steel vine reaper. See, I told you, it'll give us nothing for the rest of the desert rifle. Unfortunately, I give him the burnt metal sheets and stuff. We got a Jopa recoil, no sell. We need to find one ourselves. We hardly get anything for those nuggets, but we can sell these nuggets. Good amount. So he's got some food here that we'll take. Actually, well, I can take the bear meat. Fuck that. Do this. We got our own other stuff. Alright. We might buy a bow later on. I don't know. He doesn't have enough water to pay for everything that we've been trying to get. So we'll throw a short bow into the mix. 53 apiece. Maybe we shouldn't. Might be able to find our own bow. Thanks for watching guys.